Shout out to the ones that left me when I was at my lowest Don't come back to the side, you already made your toys Like I came back with a bitch inside, I got no remorse Quentin TV, and we back again with another one Like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying Hit that notification bell Hey, let's get it, man Hey, man, this one's gonna be about Lil Rodney, a.k.a. the Baby Savage, a.k.a. 30 Shots, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he been on this channel before, you know what I'm saying, with the Kenny B situation, but I ain't get the property to introduce him, so we're going to do that. Let's get it. That shit slap no cap, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, little dude, he only 12 years old. You know what I mean? Got cadence, got flow. You know what I mean? Hey, shit sure hard, but hey, we gonna get to the to the real gist of, of what's going on. I guess you know they you know they hemmed up. The laws hemmed up. Look, little, little Rodney. You know what I'm saying? And he locked up and he crying. You know what I mean? In front of the judge and. I don't got a problem with that, you know, he only 12 years old, but it just goes back to, you know, when niggas say, you know, gangsters move in silence and, you know, you know, you do not have to post everything that you do online. You do not have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, you know, I, mean, I get, you know what I'm saying? Niggas want to be tough. Niggas is gangster. Everybody, I get it, but I, right, them, them laws is, they, they using, you know what I'm saying? Everything. And can you stand in front of that? You know what I mean? You do you want you want to deal with that shit with you when you're in court? You know what I mean? Cause damn, doing the day they job for him, doing I mean shit. They ain't got to find shit because you done posted it. And then you looking crazy, like you want to even if you if you own the fuck shit, you want to at least lie to him to get the fuck out the situation. But you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? When you got all this shit online, and that shit never goes away. You know, so I don't know, man. You just gotta. Hey, man, hold your head, you know what I'm saying? And it's just what it is. You know, niggas gonna clown or whatever. But I done seen grown men cry, and you know what I'm saying, in front of the judge. So it is what it is, man. But, hey, y'all just make your next move your best move, man. And, hey, let's get through this. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. And y'all check this out. Let's get it. That was, that was a long time after the funeral. Your Honor. So you went to a funeral for a friend, but you don't know the friend's last name? No, because we all go by nicknames. And everybody noticed. And then he said, I couldn't go because I didn't know the last name. And that hurt. I missed so many of his. Oh. <laughs> and your nickname is 30 Shots, right? Yes, sir. I'm not going to lie. Yes, sir. Well, you're not gonna lie. You've lied to me before. I'm just telling all the truth. It ain't nothing to lie. You know everything. Ronnie, here's the problem. It's like if you lie to me so many times, how do I know when you're lying, and how do I know when you're telling the truth? Because I can just I'm tell all the truth. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I promise to God right here to the man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Anything you ask me, I'm gonna tell you. But remember when you. 
Raise your hand, promise to God that you're not going to cut off your monitor. I do. I to go to my own boy funeral, and that's it. <laughs> that was it. That's all I asked for time out for. I was never going to cut it. I wouldn't. I, hey, Rodney, okay. Rodney, okay. you told me you're not going to lie. No. Ronnie, I'm, I'm really tired of you lying to me. <laughs> I just said, sure. I'm tired of, like, every time every time you come in here, you cry. You know that, right? Like, every sure. single time you come in here, you cried. And every single time you begged me for one more chance, because you swear to God, <laughs> on my mama's name, I'm not going to cut off the mantra, I'm not going to run off, yeah. like, every single time. I every did time not too. This, right? Yes, and then, but look, I'm not even lying. Only God knows, my papa knows, and Mr. Spears knows why I cut off that you. Yeah, what I can't figure out is why you're always lying to me, and every time you tell me that you're not going to lie. Grandpa, you remember those conversations, right? Quite well, sir. Yes, sir. Every single time he promised me, I swear to God. You know, God's got to be angry with you swearing to him so many times. Mm. Well, Papa, Papa, why did I cut it? Why did no, I... it's not about you cutting. I'm talking about why you're lying. To me. That's what I'm talking about right now. Right? Like every yes, time. You came... I mean, here's the thing, right? The first time you came in here and you cried, like you were bawling, right? And you were crying, and I was, I felt sorry for you because you're just this little kid that I thought was crying. And then now I'm realizing you just cry every single time. I don't think they're fake tears. I think you're really crying. <laughs> but you cry every time. It's because you're a kid. You're 11 years old. I'm sorry. Now you're 12 years old. <laughs> Right, and so, and that's my problem is I don't like little eleven and twelve year olds here because you're just immature. I mean, you're a baby. And so now, but the thing is, Rodney, if you want to be treated treated like an adult, you do adult things, and then you're asking me to treat like an adult. So I don't know why you cry so much. Right? I mean, you going around pointing guns, and now you're accused of shooting a little kid. And then I know what's going on. I know what's going on over at Parks Mall. I know what's going on out on the street. Like, I know all this, right? Yes, so. I understand you're just causing problems everywhere you go. Here's the thing, Rodney, right? I'm not going to let you go because I know you're going to go out there. You can handle more guns. Maybe somebody else gets shot, right? I know you can go out there. You're going to make more videos about Judge Kim, right? Because I've seen those two. I made another video about you. That was the only video. Right? So... Yeah, this is one of those things. I know you're going to go out and you're going to do your thing and uh, and cause more problems. So here's the thing. You're, you're not as tough as you think you are. All right? You're not as tough as you're trying to make yourself out to be. All right? You're not. I mean, you're just causing problems and you're making people pick sides. And the thing is, everyone that's picking a side is losing. They're all losing because they're, you know what? They're picking a side over you, a kid that's just trying to milk the system. Right? You're just using everyone else around you. Including your grandpa, including Mr. Spence, including me. I don't use them. I don't got nothing. You don't think you use your grandpa? I don't use my papa. Grandpa, how many times have you been evicted because of him? Uh, about how many two, times? three, four times. Right? He's I don't from, mind uh, using you. I love you, sir. I love you. You don't listen. You don't listen to him. You don't follow his rules, right? And so he oh, loves you. Papa, so before I even cut that month, I was doing everything you asked me, right? Everything. Yes, yes. But you you did cut the monitor because you wanted to go to the funeral. Agreed. But that's all over with. We're here at this point now. We got to deal with what you got to deal with. And you You're keep right. Judge Kim. And he, that's why we are where we are now. Your papa was a wise man. And you know what? He's here every single time you have a detention hearing. Every single time. Right, because he loves you and cares about you, but you're out there thinking that there's something better than the home that he's providing. Right, it shows some gratitude. So, anyways, you know, before I used to make a deal saying you get to level one zero and I'll let you out on the monitor again. At this point, I'm detaining you and I'm just going to figure out. We'll see how you do. I'm going to leave it open ended. You may stay here till you're 19 years old. I haven't decided yet. All right. So, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. But either way, if you don't behave here. Then I know you're not going to behave outside, 
what you manage to do is get to your behavior level up, I'll release you. And then uh, you go out and you just break the rules again. So, you know, you can only lie to somebody so many times before they stop trusting you. And you'll find when that with your I, friends too. Hmm? When will I see you again? Oh, you'll see me every five days. I do this when you're under, when you're 11 years old, I, I want to see you every five days just to make sure uh, that we, we stay in communication with each other. So I'll see you Monday. Yeah, it'll be next Monday. I love you, Rodney. Papa, tell my mama I love And I love you, and I will. All right. Okay. So you're detained. Thank you. Yes, sir.